Hello guys, I'm Ryder Boost and in this brief video I show you how to install and how to start using EN Plastic Pipes catalog for Civil 3D pressure network. Installation should be quite an easy step. You just need to agree with the license agreement. You hit next. You then select the location into which folder you want to install those catalogs. It can be any folder. I'm using the default path for Civil 3D 2024. But once again, you can change it. You hit next and then it will ask, do you want to overwrite? Because uh, some catalogs are already present in metric folder. Don't worry, those catalogs are with different names. And that's why I can safely say yes. Now I can see which content packs or let's say pipes, fittings, I want to install. You can select full installation and I do recommend full installation to be able to test what content can be found from this installation. But if you already know which content you want to have, you can have custom installation and then you can select specific, let's say, pipes, catalogs. As you can see, all content packs are standard based, E and standards based. I select full installation again, I hit next and I click install, which should be quite quick installation, some seconds. I hit finish and basically now I'm ready to use those additional catalogs. So let's open up Civil 3D. Before actually I start to draw something in Civil 3D, I just want to point out this uh, installation folder metric and those catalogs or files which start with EN, those were added with this installation. Yeah, so I go back to my Civil 3D. I do have a really simple drawing, just one quick surface which I want to use uh, to place my pipe network. And um, the same workflow applies here as you always do when you want to use uh, pressure network tools. So you go to create design, you set pressure network catalog. For pressure networks, you can assign multiple databases, but you start with a primary one. For example, I select that my primary one is E and plastic pressure pipes, generic, based on this standard. I hit OK and now I go to settings. I go and find pressure network, parts lists. I do a right click, click new. And now I have my primary catalog, but I can also add more. For example, load new catalog. I go to the same location to where I installed additional catalogs. And for example, I will select also some fittings, segmented fittings. I hit open and now I need to define my pipes and fittings. Before I do that, perhaps I give a name like EN pressure pipes. I go to pressure pipes tab, right click, add material. I select the major material category, which is PE or plastic, yes, in short. I hit OK and now I include add size. I include all sizes, but of course you can filter out those sizes in your template, which you maybe don't want to use. I hit OK. You can see quite many different uh, pipe diameters, also with different uh, PE material, like 80, 100 and also 40 is included based on those standards. I go to fittings, I add some fittings as well, add type. Now I select a different uh, catalog, which is pressure segmented fittings. From this catalog, you can find elbows and T's. Elbow and T, I hit OK. And now I need to include also sizes. Add size, all sizes, OK. T, right click, add size. Add all sizes, OK. And now I'm ready to hit OK and start 
to draw my pressure network with those new parts. So let's do that. Pipe network, pressure network creation tools. I give a name, pressure network one. I then select my parts list, E and pressure pipes. I then select, for example, my starting pipe diameter. You can see quite a list. For example, I select maybe DN160. I select my reference surface, surface one, this simple surface. Maybe cover is 1.8 meters in cold climates. And then I hit OK. I will start to draw some, just a sample pipeline, just by hitting my left mouse button, one, two, and then I can see which fittings are available according to the angle, and I can draw and continue my pipeline as such. Once I'm finished, I just uh, escape, and of course I can show through my pipe styling, fitting stylings, do I want to see it um, with inside outside diameters? For example, if I select my pipe, currently alignment is selected, one click more, my pipe is selected, right click, edit pressure pipe style, I go to display tab, I check my center line, inside outside pipe diameters are visible, I hit OK, and you can see pipe inside outside diameters according to the standard but also according to pipe pressure class yeah and if i go to select fitting same in here i can draw it as a part by doing edit fitting style and then in plan view i can select display as catalog defined block in addition to those pipes and fittings if i select my pipe again second click to have a pressure pipe. If I do now a right click and select pressure pipe properties, I go to part properties tab and I can see a lot more part data which is coming from those catalogs directly. And of course you can reuse this data for example in your property sets. For example pipe inside outside diameter, also which standard it comes from and material specifics, also pipe series, SDR and as such. And if you select um, manufacturer specific catalog, then you have some more information available, specifically those values as well, which currently has unknown because it's a general pipe. Okay, I hope that you found this video useful and uh, you can test this catalog or catalogs by yourself. Bye bye.